Doritos are taking a hit. Ozempic and other GLP-1 medications are having a direct impact on snack sales. We are now seeing how it works in the real world beyond the carefully controlled clinical trials. This is more research showing why US obesity rates may have peaked. This new working paper is analyzing grocery data from over 20,000 US households. It comes from the marketing firm Enumerator and their app Receipt Hog, which pays people to consistently upload receipts on a gamified platform. Numerator also conducted multiple surveys asking households about their GLP-1 adoption over the past two years. Overall, a little over 10% of their sample adopted the medicine. What surprised me is it's happening all across household incomes. But as we would expect for those doing it for weight loss purposes and paying for it out of pocket, we see adoption rates double for households making more than $150,000 a year here in blue. And this resulted in a modal weight loss of around 25 pounds with others doing quite a bit more. Now, to get a good control group, the researchers match the adopters with non-adopters when they have other similar survey characteristics. And we find in the six months before adoption, the grocery store purchases was equal between the two groups. Then in the six months after, grocery purchases declined by about 5% for the GLP-1 users. And what's cool for the nerds is the results hold up for a variety of statistical techniques. And this effect was even stronger for households making more than $125,000 a year, where their grocery purchases went down by more than 8%. And this is really neat here. We can zoom in exactly where they're cutting back. At the top are chips and savory snacks, more than 10% drop. Next are sweet bakery items, sides and frozen sides, salad dressing, then cheese and cookies. I'm surprised soft drinks are this far down. I mean, we're still near the top, more than say eggs or uh, jams or frozen pizza or bacon. The foods that are not affected are yogurt, fresh produce, and meat snacks. Keep enjoying your Slim Jims, y'all. And it's not just groceries. Eating out for fast food for dinner also declined by 5%. They didn't find any effect for lunchtime. The survey found the strongest results for the first six months. The 12-month figure was a little more ambiguous. The survey also can't distinguish between lifestyle changes versus strict medicinal effects. But when looking at the real world, the sum of both are what ultimately matter. And so far, we're only looking at early adopters. The results may change as a higher share of the population uses it. But these grocery declines are significant. We're talking over 400 bucks a year per user. Things are gonna change for Kraft and other middle aisle companies. They need to diversify. Last year, for example, Mars acquired Kevin's Natural Foods.